See our minds have become messed up And they're now filled with pollution TV screens and magazines We're beginning to look for a solution Plastic surgery, diets and pills We're still not seeing any form of improvement We've stacked up all these dollar bills We're still not sure what to do with them We began to chase women and fornication To the point our girls don't even know whose baby she's carrying we're so afraid of commitment, but have no problem with damaging. She has your kids now, but you're still not even contemplating the possibility of marrying. See, this is what happens when we neglected Allah's best examples. You called her Mary, we call her Mariam. A woman who was perfect since birth, the best to walk the skies and the best to walk the surfaces of earth. The most exalted of all women, that's why she was dedicated an entire chapter. In the Holy Quran, the final revelation in which there'll be none after. She was the best of all women, and to society she should be leading the way. I mean, that's why our woman be dressing like her. Because just like Mary, when Allah decrees something, we hear and we obey. See, Mary used to cover up. Despite everything they used to say, she would hide in hibernation, and to Allah she would pray. And when she was visited by angels in the form of men, she said if you fear Allah, you would go away, because in the presence of men, she would not stay. But anyways, today we're taught to be against segregation Before in support of all forms of liberation To free yourself from the clothes that only lead to your degradation Why do you gotta cover your face for? We gotta see your identification But little do they know her identity's right there A woman who fears Allah and commits to her religious obligations See, I respect all women too, because that's what my religion teaches. To lower your gaze when you're walking, there's no need to check out every second woman's features. There's no need to even shake another woman's hand, because in reality, there's only one reason why a guy will be pleased to meet you. And you could go ahead and deny it, but don't blame me for stating the obvious. When the pornographic industry is worth billions, you still don't see where the problem is? Sex is embedded into society to the point we'll exploit it to merely sell a car. So you can act like this is all new to you, but you know for a fact how innocent we really are. I mean just look at the simplistic way we're taught to dress. It's like if you dress less than you're destined for success. You then force your women into heels and have the nerve to say that we oppress. You got it to dress up tightly, like it's an opportunity. But every time we lose our minds, it's like, see what these ladies do to me? But I'm not blaming it on the women because we too have responsibility. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said the best of men is he who is best in his character. And the best of them is he who is best to his lady after he married her. He was the best to his wives. I mean, just take a look at her, Isha. He compete with her in races and smile just to make her happier. So when you do marry, do so with the intention of paradise is where you plan to carry her. But before you plan to carry her to the altar, maybe you should alter your decision. Cause if the only reason you're marrying her is for the outside, then realize you're gonna be locked inside of a prison. For that reason, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said marry for four, beauty, family, status, but most importantly her religion because a woman without religion is a woman who could do with a bit of extra wisdom we're meant to grow old together mercifully so we can be protected under Allah's supervision but relationships are a mess and there's no guarantees you're gonna be a survivor so be kind to her and know that Allah will be kinder be a man who stands in front but also a man who can stand beside her and if you're still looking for that good girl don't go chasing after behind her. Rather search to find the law first. For once you find him, you're guaranteed to find her.